Our final contestant, contestant number 13, Aiden Wilson, igniting the present for tomorrow's future. Igniting the present for tomorrow's future, Aiden Wilson. Where's the future? Right there. Whose life is it? It's mine. What am I going to do with it? Live it by any means necessary. It only takes a spark to get a fire going, going. Honorable judges, fellow world changers, friends, our family, a pleasant good evening. <coughs> According to the Oxford Dictionary, to ignite is to catch fire. The present is existing or occurring now, and the future is at a later time. Going or likely to happen. Hence, igniting the present for tomorrow's future is defined as executing the necessary steps as of now to gain something that you desire in the future. Each and every one of us in here want to make it, or at least, you know, we want to to make it. We hope, dream, and pray to someday in the bright future own the fanciest automobiles, claim the wealthiest careers, and one day see I'm living my best life and enormous homes because it wouldn't. It sounds so, ooh, ah, nice, wonderful. However, don't be fooled. How will you shape, dream, and ignite your life into the one that you desire? Firstly, to trigger your flame, you have to find its purpose. The dynamic William Shakespeare once said, all things are ready if your mind be so. Ponder, think deep, as in deep and wide, deep and wide, as in what you aspire in life. One must have the mentality to soar to success, no matter the situation. Take for example, I am hungry to pursue business. However, at times, I question myself. Despite this, I your success, innovation, and disciplines as from a child. But after my grandfather, who passed, just weeks ago said to me, you will make it somehow. I gained the inspiration that I needed. Additionally, think of a career or achievement that will not only bring the drip drip and the press press, but most importantly, one that brings love, peace, and happiness. With all of your thoughts complete, your flame is in the path to existence. Secondly, to actually get the fire going, you must prepare for it. Confucius once said, success depends upon previous preparation, and without this preparation, that is sure to be failure. Now that you are certain of what it is that you want to accomplish, now comes the hard part, preparation. Take for example, I pressed myself onto the BGCSE economics recommendation list. This involved long hours, sleepless nights, and even cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. <laughs> As in those dead big friends. Not only was I physically prepared, but spiritually, socially, emotionally, and intellectually. This also involved lots of loyalty, dedication, diligence, and sacrifice because I swear to God that I missed every party once of his home in my books. <laughs> Hence, as a result, I was elected to sit seven UGCSEs, while only grade 11, regardless of being the baby of my class. It is imperative to practice, review, and prepare to show thyself good unto yourself and God. As Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. And where is he now? On your and mine, US $100 bill. I invite you to put two and two together and understand what I am saying. With all of these things in place, your flame is just a step away. Finally, it's time to ignite your flame. All of your hard work will finally be paid off. One, two, three, spark. No spark, the devil busy, 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 busy. <laughs> Second Chronicles 60 verse 7 states, but as for you, you and you, be strong and do not give up, for your work will be rewarded. During this time, the enemy is eager to slide a little doubt into your mind, making you feel like the strongest figures. However, although this may be, however, you must try and try and try again. As a result, 
ignite your present for tomorrow's future. In each of these steps, God's guidance is crucial. Not only does he impart the resources that will keep yesterday in my life, but it gives you the ability to believe and comprehend, similar to the mission of junior achievement, which has done this for over 40 years and around. Many of us, similar to you and I, to ignite our present for tomorrow's future.